Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of a geometric distribution. And this distribution is actually a special case of a negative binomial distribution. Now, let's look at uh, the idea of geometric distribution right here. Well, you can see that uh, it comes from originally the idea of having repeated Bernoulli trials where you have all the trials independent from each other and that the probability of success is the same. And uh, we have seen in the previous video about the negative binomial distribution uh, where it says that um, the random variable here represents the number of trials uh, when kth success happens so when kth success happens okay so that's negative binomial and in geometric distribution uh, it is a specific case because we are interested in the number of trials on which the first success occurs so uh, what you have seen in um, negative binomial uh, x here represents the number of trials and then we have uh, the notation k here represents the number of success whereas in this one the number of trials here is is of course x so x here represents the number of trials and here we have k is equal to 1 we are only interested in observing the first success so back to the idea of geometric distribution you can see that this is a special case of negative binomial distribution where in this case our k is equal to one and uh, we say that x here our random variable x has a geometric distribution and this is the probability distribution function and you can see that in this distribution we only have one parameter so here is the parameter and this is a number constant x here is our random variable and um, it makes sense to think of our x starts from 1 2 and 3 and so on recall what x is okay so x here is so x here is the number of trials where you observe the first success you observe the first success of course if you are lucky you just do the trial one time and you get a successful result therefore x can be equal to one but if you are unlucky then you have to repeat the trials again and again until you observe the first success so therefore x will begin uh, with the lowest value of one and it can go on indefinitely up to 2, 3, 4 and so on. So that's the idea of uh, the values of x given here. Now let's see how this probability function is obtained. As I have said uh, to you just now, the idea of a geometric distribution is that it comes from um, a negative binomial distribution. And the probability function for negative binomial distribution is is given by this one we have seen this in the previous video so this is the probability function for that okay so 1 minus p x minus k now uh, when k is equal to 1 okay because we are interested in uh, observing the first success when k is equal to 1 uh, you just substitute the value of k in equals 1 into this negative uh, binomial distribution function and you will be able to get uh, the result given is as such okay so what happens when you substitute k equals to 1 into this uh, it becomes um, x minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 this one is p to the power of 1 and then 1 minus p x minus 1 so here we've got the result as given here, p1 minus px minus 1 on this part. And this one here, the result is going to be equal to 1. So um, if you choose 0 out of whatever number of trials, then um, the result here is equal to 1. Okay. So this is 
x minus 1 choose 0 so the result is going to be 1 then we get this uh, probability distribution function for geometric distribution now that's quite easy now let's look at a simple practical example related to how this uh, geometric distribution is seen in sort of real life problem here we've got a probability of 0 0.75 that an applicant for a driver's license will pass the road test on any given trial and so the question is asking you to find what's the probability that an applicant will finally pass the test on the fourth try now let us define the event of success so success here is actually passing the road test okay so pass the road test so that's uh, uh success and you can see that this probability p here represents the probability of success is uh, actually 0 0.75 and the question is asking us to find the probability this will this applicant here will pass the test on the fourth trial so here we have um, x is equal to 4 Okay. and of course k is equal to 1 finally pass the test so the event of success is k equals to 1 and we can just uh, uh, apply the formula given here on, on this page you can just apply it straight you know in a straightforward manner so what we have is now we are looking to find what's the probability uh, applicant will pass on the fourth try is going to be equal to uh, we have here p 1 minus p x minus 1 so that's the formula and we can just replace p with 0 0.75 1 minus p is going to be 0 0.25 and here is x is equal to 4 so therefore 4 minus 1 is going to be equal to 3 and you should be able to get the result is 0 0.0117 uh, if you use a four decimal places okay right um right i think uh, that's all for now and i will continue talking about the idea of mean of geometric random variable and the variance of that random variable in the next video and here we are going to uh, deal with a little bit of proving and for that proving we need some sort of uh, these results here related to geometric series and that is what I will be talking about in the next video so I'll see you there thanks for watching